boy, this is some heavy rain, am I right, fellas? Ah, oh, whatever. It never gets old. Or maybe it does. Hey, back to coin guy. Haven't seen you since the beginning. When everything was really stinking crummy. No androids allowed. Gee, I wonder how this is gonna go. Breaking and entering. Find Lieutenant Anderson. How's it hanging, fellow humans? <laughs> How do we got? Anything we can examine? Uh, do I do it right here? It's not Anderson. Where's the Sandalberg? Uh, examine. Uh, Jimmy Peterson. I wonder if these people are actually designed after real human beings, because I know the main cast of Heavy Rain was, or not even just the main cast, like the entire cast, I think, was designed after uh, their voice actors, which was really cool. Uh, let's see, anything else we could do? I assume we need to just get a little bit closer. Edward Dempsey. It's so weird we could, like, we know their entire identities. And they don't seem to care that we're here. Christopher Gray. He looks like Guy Fieri. Uh, no faces. I target turned away. What's your problem? Uh, oh, look at this trick shot. Yeah, that's right. I'm examining you from behind. Uh, I think this is our guy. A match, Hank Anderson. Buy me a drink. Introduce self. Uh, in a minute. Switch around. Can I play the game with the guy? Hello, friend. Would you like to play some Pac-Man? That's what you guys play on those machines, right? I open up my chest and I have like a Pac-Man inside of me. Like a Pac-Man arcade machine. Okay, fine. We'll get with the plot. Lieutenant Anderson, you live in. my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You, get a girlfriend you were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Of course it never works. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> Up my no. auxiliary cord? Where? Oh my god. Can't take a joke. Never. Oh, we lost points with him because we couldn't spill the. No, I won't spill the drink. Uh. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. I like this guy's voice. He's just so happy. That gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Please for the road. I like his face. He's just so clean. You wait here. What do you want? Diplomatic sounds nice. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. He looks like Howard Stern, except without the amazing hair. 
Oh, I wish I could have hair like Howard Stern. Like, how do I manage the almighty fro? Uh. <laughs> well, here we go. Either that or just sit here the entire time. Time! What the fruit's up with my voice? It's like not a commentary heavy game. And yet, voice is just gone. Yeah, we're gonna follow Hank. Good old baby Hank, all grown up now. It's such a cold, cruel world. He just misses he just misses Fraser and Becky. They've been in Japan for who knows how long. I haven't seen him since. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Yay! What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. <laughs> Got it! Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, got yourself an android, huh? I wish they called him an ox hole. Tell me what like, an auxiliary cord hole. Like, that's just funny. Uh, a bunch of drones. Probably police drones this time. Anything we could examine. Doesn't look like it. Move around anyway. Uh, something tells me there's a dead body in there, which is great, super fun. Follow Lieutenant Anderson, but I want to... Carlos Ortiz. At least we get subtitles that tell us, like, what the heck's going on while I'm derping around. Fine, we'll go inside. Just want to see if there's any secret special goodies. Uh, nothing over here. Listen to the briefing. everybody out in the middle of the night. Gotta wait until morning. Oh god. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Three no weeks? Wait a minute, who is that? Here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked. Wait, the this is not all of I am alive. The killer must have gone out the back way. That's well, not know about his Todd, aunt. is it? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Investigate the crime scene. Okay. Review evidence. Zero out of ten. Is this Todd? I can't tell. It's a crummy house. So that's off to a good start. He's been murdered. Okay. Cool. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Uh, let's see. Analyze. A knife. No fingerprints. Android involvement. Could have been Kara though, unless she was like protecting Alice. Oh God, why well, you always gotta eat it? Oh Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry, I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <laughs> I like how just oh, nonchalant this guy hell, is. I can't believe this shit. All right, who is it? This is dried blood from who, though? It's not gonna tell us. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? From Carlos Ortiz. So it's not Todd. Okay, never mind. I would say so. It just looked We're like the same person. For analysis. Um. Red. Dried blood again. Red ice. Red ice. Yeah. Think Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Got another holographic book. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Okay, then. Mark, uh, what's his name? What's our guy's name? Connor. He's just like, this is fascinating. Android sex officially better. Uh, let's see, the result of the survey is in, and it's official 68, oh, it should have been 69. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman, and with 52% of men saying they're, they've tried experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. I didn't mean to go forward. Oh, it's only like two pages. Page one. Uh, page two. I go, I scroll down, what the fruit? Scroll down. It's not working. The future is horrible. The future is now thanks to science. Uh, team addict, is your android spying on you? Maybe? I don't know. Uh. Just a bunch of stuff. Okay, whatever. I got the funny stuff out of the way. 
Uh, you want to examine that? I can. Or examine this. Okay, window. Okay, walk around, please. Hello. Yes, examine. And we're good. Fingerprints. Carlos Ortiz. Signs of a struggle. So, we have more and more androids just going a wall, basically. Do not want to read the stinking magazine anymore. Don't want to look at that guy anymore. A missing knife. Good to know. Uh, examine Ortiz. We haven't done that yet. Hello. What is that? It's too bright. Get the lights out of the way, brah. Can't see anything. Hmm. Nothing else. Let's go and see if we can find the body again. Hello, body. Examine. It's on examine. Examiones. Uh, CD. A club. Eating club. Hmm. What's keeping the car? He should have been there a half hour. He's on his way. He won't be long now. Not sure what else we could do. Just so dark in here, I can't figure out where the fruit I'm going. Oh, hello. It's a bat. I examine different parts of it. Here we go. Uh, fingerprints. What? Again, Carlos Ortiz. So. He's, he was the victim though, so he's defending himself, or maybe he started something, I don't know. Uh, reconstruct. Let's see what we got. Got this. Deviant took a knife. So Carlos was doing something. And the guy... Deviant was attacked, emotional shock. It's just a matter of who was fighting in self-defense, that's what we gotta figure out. Or was it a mutual fight? Uh, the body is where exactly? I lost the body. Some might be concerned about that. I'm also stuck again. Oh, there's the I am alive thing. Uh, I'll try not to make Grady Showman references. Uh, let's see, there we go. Examine the body. Hey, bud. Uh, let's see what we got here. Examine. Lithium. Lithium. T uh, thrithium? Lithium thurium? Red ice. It's like acid. Is that like a real thing? Sorry if I sound like super uninformed to all the hippest drugs, but I don't know what this is. So I assume it's drugs of some kind. Uh, is that everything? Just two more things. Knife wounds. And... Uh, fingerprints. Theft and aggravated assault. Put it together. Let's put it all together. He tripped. Victim fell here. Victim was stabbed. They came from the kitchen. Yeah, well, we know all this already. I'm doing everything like reverse order to where nothing's helpful anymore. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. I am alive. Regular letters, font, cyberlife sans. Do all the robots write in the same language or something? It looks, it's perfect handwriting, so I guess it isn't human. Hmm. What else we got? Red ice, yep. Red ice. Acetone, lithium, thorium, okay. Victim used drugs. Okay, confirmed, it's drugs, thank you. Now we just need one more thing to Mahoosie. Don't want to talk to you yet. 
Just let me find it. Good to go. Is that it in here? A bunch of nothing. Does it count? It doesn't count. Lame. Huh. Go around here. Uh, it seems like we got everything in here, so... Oh, there's a little... No, that's the Steam Magazine. I won't be fooled again. We'll be fooled until looking out that window again, though. And this window. Huh. There's just nothing else to look at, though. Just want to make sure, when I get all the things, I need the 100% completion, even though it's already not going to be 100% complete. If I can do anything, I will do it. I will look for it. Uh, I miss it. I'm starting to miss back when it was Chippy Robo times. So there's got, yeah, the last thing's got to be in here. It's a lot easier being Chippy Robo than it is being Phoenix Wright. Uh, obsessive warning? What? This is creepy. Religious offering? Obsessive worshipping, not warning. And that's everything. We've got nothing else left to do but report to good old Hank. Alright, let's get out of here. I wish there was a run button. Maybe there is, I just aren't aware of it. Just a slow ride. Uh, where am I? Hello, sir. There you go. Get on over here and talk to good old Hank. I said talk to good old Hank. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Uh, it started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the knife. With the knife. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. Uh, with the bat. With the bat. Okay. That lines up with the evidence. <laughs> Go on. I think he just disregards the fact that I got it wrong. So the kitchen was the right answer then. The android stabbed the victim. Uh. The victim stabbed the android. Your story makes no sense. Okay, I'm you gotta sorry. Stick to the facts. Just looking out for the androids. The android, the android stabbed, the stabbed the victim. The android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... Uh... The living room, right? The living room. But what's up with the bathroom? to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. Uh... With the knife. Okay. <laughs> Your theory's okay. not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. To the potty. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Search for blue blood traces. Uh, hello. Well, that was easy. Uh, can I examine it or do I need a bigger sample? I'm gonna go to the bathroom because that was just a really weird area that we haven't really gotten to examine all that much yet. Uh, let's go over here. I can find the bathroom again. 
Uh, is it over here? I think so. Just go back in here and let's see what the statue is all about. Oh, hello. Okay. That was concerning. Uh, if I could split second the capture card. Okay, it's still trying to stop. That's concerning. Please don't do that. I might have to, like, re-examine everything uh, later on. Evil brooms! Any blue blood? Looks like it to me. Can I examine it, though? Thank you. Who is it? A ladder was used. I want to know the blue blood, though, or is it just some other blue stuff? Oh, that's how they escaped. Traces led to the, lead to the attic. Oh, we might still be up there. Find something to climb. Oh, jeez. Why the heck is it, like, fighting with the capture card and whether or not to record? Hopefully, it looks okay on your end. I might have to re- I'm gonna have to re-examine this after this segment. Oh, god. It's gonna self-destruct. Alright, um, I'm just gonna take a second to check it. Is it stopping now? This is just because, like, this game is so sick and high-tech or whatever. It's, like, struggling to keep up. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I'm going to eat the chair. I'm going to check something. Okay, we're heading up. Hopefully with all the recordings intact. Open up. Oh, he's still here. Oh god. I don't want to search the attic. Look for the deviant. Oh god. Mannequin, of course. But it's a trap! Maybe not. I don't see why he would stay, though. He said he was dead for three weeks. Why would he stay up here for that long? Well, I guess as soon as he goes out, then he's doomed. Because the robots aren't allowed to go broke. Okay, yep, there he is. Let's see if we could reach him. Just really stinking dark. I apologize if you can't see anything. It's not much easier for me either. I just go where the controller tells me to. Okay. Those were boxes. Hello! Deviant located. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Oh, God. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? If you're defending yourself, then... It's here, Lieutenant! God, you didn't even give me a choice! Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! That's not my choice. I was gonna try and work Come this on. out. God darn it. No! What? That's it? Oh, uh, we got more points. I'm gonna have to go to the main menu and see what all these points are about. Oh, boy. Found the Deviant. There's some things we missed, though. You'd think this would be one that we wouldn't have any missing things on. It's so crazy. This is a crazy, expansive timeline. 